Good morning, everybody. Uh, this morning we are going to do some junkyard runs. We're going to take uh, one of these trailers that we've had here forever, like 30 years, um, to the junkyard. We're trying to make some space here in the yard with more and more trucks, more and more toes, law enforcement included. Um, the yard is not getting any bigger. We are running out of room, so we are going to work on clearing out. This trailer was parked back there. We're going to take that to the junkyard. It's really, there's really nothing in there other than a bunch of old relics, for lack of better terms. Um, I mean, really, it was just a, a junk mess. So we're going to take this to the junkyard this morning. We got the 12 ton all uh, ready to go. We did try to hook it up to a tractor, but I think this was set up to be pulled behind a dolly, like uh, it's in the corner back there, but like it was meant to be pulled behind a, uh, like a single axle day cab or a, uh, a dolly, like a set of doubles, because when we turned the uh, landing gear actually struck the uh, tire. So that wasn't an option. As you can see, tires are not in great shape, but we're gonna take it couple miles to the junkyard, get rid of it. Come to Papa. Uh, we got it all hooked up here. Uh, we're just gonna back it up by the trash can and uh, throw some non-metal stuff out of there. Gotta go catch up to Taylor. Apologize for the audio, guys. Uh, the microphone setup is uh, dead at the moment, so I don't think it's horrible, but uh, just bear with me for a little bit here. We'll get the mic char or the uh, receiver charged up. All right, caught up to Taylor here. Went ahead and closed the door because we uh, dropped like a little tiny piece of metal. Uh, so we're door's all closed now. Look how bouncy it is because of the tires. They've just been sitting so long that they have a permanent flat spot. And there's a uh, 24,000 is what it weighed combination. See what the 12 ton by itself weighs. 17,240. So that trailer was maybe 8,000 pounds. What's going on, guys? Uh, as you guys can see, it's nighttime now. Uh, we are going to be headed up the hill just uh, before the Cactus City rest area to be winching out a, I think it, they said it was a Tacoma out of the center divider. So this is a uh, highway patrol call. 
all the light duty guys are like tied up on calls right now. We kind of got bombarded. Uh, you guys can't tell right the second, but it rained recently. Um, and in the desert, when it rains even a little bit, everyone forgets how to drive. So we got a little busy. Therefore, uh, I'm doing technically a light duty call, but uh, no biggie. We're gonna hop in the 12 ton uh, to do this winch out. It'll give us a little bit more pulling power and a little bit more capacity. It'll be a little easier than using a flatbed, although I'm sure a flatbed can handle it. But uh, yeah, that is the plan right now. Uh, I'm gonna load up my stuff into the truck. I'm gonna put my, oops, lost my hood. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm gonna put my high-vis jacket on though. It's a little chilly, but nothing crazy, but definitely should have my high-vis on. Um, move my microphone. It's like this jacket was made to hold the microphone. It's like perfect little slot for it. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's load up and head up the hill and see what this is gonna be all about. You know what, maybe I should bring my hood just in case it fits raining up there. Just throw it in my bag. If I gotta put it on, I gotta put it on. All right, camera gear, water bottle, backpack with all my essentials. Let's do it. Eh, not the greatest windshield wipers, but we'll make it work. It's not raining right now. All right, eastbound 10, here we go. We're getting on at Dillon, right at the bottom of the hill. We're uh, going to be working somewhere between here and the Cactus City rest area, so about 10 miles up the hill here. We'll, I'm sure we'll see something. Let you know when we get there. All right, guys, we are two miles away from the rest area here, so I imagine we're gonna roll up on it here any second now. Um, the the I-10 here east of town just is, uh, getting a third lane, a truck climbing lane. So there's a lot of new construction going on and where this truck is stuck, being in the center divider, that's all new, uh, freshly graded, I guess you could say. Basically, uh, they leveled the whole mountain. So it's all flat and there's no real like hills anymore except in the center divider. There's like a goalie for obviously uh, water drainage. So I imagine that's where the truck's at, somewhere down there. Hopefully it's not in too steep of an area, but at least I know that we have, what we have going for us is a nice, well-graded area. I'm seeing flashers up here. No CHP though, which is nice. CHP doesn't look like they're gonna hang out with us here. That kind of sucks. Uh, this should be easy. I say that. Oh, oh man, big bump, big bump. They stuck. I guess it is a little soft. All right, well, before we get too far ahead of ourselves here, let's uh, throw some lights. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's throw our lights on in our PTO. Hey, buddy, how we doing? Good. How are you? Good. So you stuck? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, so you're, you don't need a tow, you're just, or you, you need a tow. Yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah. No, I just, I was afraid my power started dying. Got it. So, this is the only option I had to get out of the way of traffic. Okay, got it. Yeah, they said you were stuck. That's why I brought this truck. That, that's well, overkill. <laughs> well, AAA came out, but they said they couldn't go over here. They were afraid they were going to get stuck or something. Jeez, okay. Uh, Two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive? Four-wheel. Mm. Um, any chance, do you think we could push this by chance and get it onto the flat ground? Do you think that'd be an option? Yeah, I mean, we, possibly, I okay. don't know. Let's, uh, let's try. I could even, uh, sure. if you want to steer and I could try to push, that way I'm not hooking okay. you up on a slope. If, yeah, just on flat ground, that'd be ideal. Do you want to pull your truck forward? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. All right, well, I guess we're just going to be doing a light duty tow for you guys. <laughs> so was the Highway Patrol out here at all? Did they come out and talk to you? They came out They did? Ago, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. If not, no biggie. Okay, it actually might be better if I push you backwards because uh, this is all uphill. <laughs> let's see. There we go. Yeah, if you want to just kind of steer it down toward the road. Oh, is it? Okay, I'll just come and get you then. Go ahead and put it in park then. 
All right, well, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work here to get the uh, proper attachments on here. Thanks for coming out though. Yeah, no problem. All right, put these. Put these extenders on. Gotta drop these little pins in. Let's back up a little more here. Okay, we were centered, but now we're way off, so I'm gonna go hard left here. Let's try to fix it. Try to get the pins to match. Uh, we do, we don't have four wheel drive, so that is our one limitation. There is one company in town that we kind of refer to for that. All right, you can go ahead and uh, put it in neutral for me and release all the brakes. Cool, and then how, how is it, how does it shift into four wheel drive? Uh, there, there's a, lever, a button. Okay. So it's normally two wheel. Okay. And you do four, you press the button there for four high. Okay. And then you have to shift it for four low also. Got it, is there a neutral selection for that as well? That we could put it in, in the transfer case? If so, let's do that just probably, to. Probably. Okay, yeah. Here, I got light. Mm, is there is that's, there there's three settings right okay. so that's high which mm -hmm. is normally in okay and that's low okay and then so i guess that's neutral okay what is the the little diagram on the top say is there an end there in yeah. the middle yeah? yeah okay let's leave it there then that's that's high that's usually yeah i'll be able to tell real quick when i move it right now okay. and then do me a favor just throw are your flashers on they are but i think they're dying are they okay let's see Yeah, they must be because they were on when I came up to you. They were. Yeah. The they were the speed of it was changing, so I think they sounded okay. like they were dying. So they're, they're sort of faint right now. Yeah. But, okay. Yeah, I just don't want to put uh, I don't want to put my lights back here and uh, scratch up your tailgate, but so I think we'll just go without them.
All right, you ready? Let's go. Yeah, so I elected to not put my light bar on the back of this because it would just scratch that tailgate. So I'm just gonna leave my lights on it. Oh, sorry about that. How long you been stuck out here? Uh, a couple hours. Yeah. Had to the water though. Well, that's good. Yeah, Could have been worse, I guess. Wasn't planning on spending the night. <laughs> So were you coming out to like do some four wheel driving or? Yeah, actually. Yeah. I was, I was on my way to right now to Box Canyon. Oh, okay. Travel a little bit, but, uh, then that happened. <laughs> so that's not bad. Better, better here than there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe it was the universe saying, maybe not today. Yeah. Oh, it's a little rainy. Yeah. And it wasn't going to go too far back into anything. Alright, so I'm going to drop you uh, along this kind of uh, straight line here. Um, so that way the tow truck that comes pick you up has kind of a nice easy okay well let's see i was gonna put you right where that rv's at but yeah that's not really ideal there's another flat spot over here around the corner that i'll take you to I mean, especially when there's like a big accident that happens and then uh, trucks try to get around the traffic, they start getting out on these roads that they, like some four by four shouldn't even be on. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and so they get themselves into some predicaments. All right, I think we're gonna call this home. You go with that? Yeah. Okay. You know what, honestly, just so they don't give you any problems, I'm gonna put you on the pavement. I think this will be better, right? Are you with that? Yeah, sure. Okay. I would just hate for them to be like, oh no, <laughs> not a, can't get you. Alright, mind uh, setting, put it in park or set the brake, put it in gear, whatever, so it doesn't roll away. Thank you. Any questions for me? No. Okay. All right. Be safe then. Yeah. Thanks for your help. Cool. Yeah. No problem. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Yep. Uh, all right, guys. Well, that was easy, I guess. I was kind of hoping it'd be the winch out of it. Would have been a little more eventful for you guys, but I guess that works too. It is a problem we deal with is uh, misinformation more more times than I would like but it doesn't matter. Still got paid, still got the job done. Customer is happy. I mean, obviously he's not happy with the fact that AAA wouldn't cover that tow, but uh, which I mean, I will give the tow company that. It is in the policy that if it is off the road, it's not covered. But when we did AAA, we would offer like, hey, this isn't covered, but you, you can pay X amount of dollars out of pocket. We'll get you out. And then from there, you know, we can take our pictures and AAA will cover you. But whatever i guess they lost out on a tote so uh yeah that's gonna be a wrap for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit different content uh hopefully you guys enjoyed that video as always like comment subscribe let me know in the comments what you thought about it and we will see you on the next one thank you for watching guys